On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Nothing because I'm single and alone. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Balasai and this is Wine About It, a weekly video series where I get drunk at my desk and complain about stuff. On this week's episode, the worst things about office holiday parties. Because getting blindingly shit-faced in front of all of your coworkers is an art form that should not be left in the hands of amateurs who cannot handle this responsibility. So let's drink. Not too bad. Okay. All right. That's enough. All right. First of all, getting drunk with your coworkers is literally the definition of a recipe for disaster. Whoever decided to mix people who have to work together in a professional setting every single day with a raging, gurgling waterfall of alcohol is a sociopath who wants to expose your life for the hot ass mess it truly is. Oh, what could go wrong? Let's just throw a bunch of people who've repressed their true feelings about one another every day for the last 12 months into a room together and set a bowl of vodka in the middle of them. I'm sure no one will die or go down on someone who's married, even though uh, he never really talks about his wife that much at work, and doesn't have any pictures of her in his office. Also, office holiday party food is fucking garbage. Nobody in the history of eating has ever actively sought out a shrimp cocktail. Oh, are you hungry? Here's a bunch of fucking fish in a cup with some spicy ketchup, you piece of shit. Then the next day, everyone is always like, wow, I wonder why, I wonder why Carol threw up all those martini olives. Cause you got her drunk and all you fed her was a single cracker, a toothpick of cheese, and a cube of sweaty unidentified meat. Of course she was fucking wasted. All you fed us was fucking table crumbs. Next, there's always that one person who you know is gonna make a fucking fool of themselves every year. Why are we having parties when we know the same person is guaranteed to get wasted after two drinks, grope someone next to the punch bowl, then violently throw up two pigs in a blanket? Why are we letting this happen every year? It's always someone named Randy or Hank. But also during, during holiday parties, everybody tries to act like you can't let loose. When you absolutely can if you want. Just cause Randy decided to hurl up an entire gingerbread man doesn't mean I can't get the f down with my funky jolly self. Next, why the f do you have to get dressed up to go to a damn holiday party? Everybody already knows you look like a fucking mess. You're not fooling anybody because you wear a, a velvet tie and you tuck in your shirt. You're still a piece of garbage. Now you're just seasonal garbage. Then there's always that one guy who gets a little too handsy because he thinks nobody will care because it's Christmas and baby Jesus says go for it. Well guess what, douche can? Just because Santa is watching doesn't mean you can grind up on something that you can't grind up on the other 364 days a year. Okay, why don't you just keep your Yule log to itself? Just keep it in its little Yule log pouch. Next, there's always those two coworkers who shouldn't hook up, who hook up. And everybody has to look at it like, oh no, they're doing it. In front of all of us, they're doing it. They're doing it, someone should stop them, someone should stop this tornado from happening, but we can't. All you do is stand there and watch while you deep throat one of those pretzel sticks that's been dipped in chocolate with the sprinkles on them. God, I love those things. 
And finally, holiday parties are the worst because they always tell you it's an open bar and then they close it on you. And then the bartender's always like, sir, I think you have to pay for this bottle of champagne you just chugged, sir. And then I have to be like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't speak English. And then he has to say, oh, sir, you do speak English because I'm having a conversation with you right here. And then I have to say, no. My husband, he speak English, he pay for me. And then I point to a stranger, and I stumble away sucking on my candy cane. That's why holiday parties are f***ed up. Alright everybody, thank you for watching this week. As always, you can find our videos every week on whineaboutit.tumblr.com and my page which is facebook.com slash buzzfeedmat. And that's it, that's everything, that's all. But thank you for watching, have a f***ing carry Christmas. You know what the, how I ended my Christmas parties? I went to McDonald's and got a McFlurry, an Oreo McFlurry. I ate it in the back of a cab on the way home. I chowed down on that motherfucker. And the Uber driver was like, are you okay, sir? And I was like, yes.